So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about Mayor of New York City, Eric Adams. The one guy who really cares about you. If you don't speak English, you came here illegally, you're a criminal, or you're one of his friends. It's being reported that Mayor Eric Adams has given a no-bid contract of $53 million to a company to dish out up to $10,000 per illegal immigrant of your hard-earned tax dollars on debit cards. Mayor Adams is defending this decision. He even defended this program to Curtis Jackson, AKA 50 Cent. But let's check this out. This was a small policy shift that we're doing on a pilot project with 500 people. If this is successful, we're going to expand it even more so that we can bring down, we got to bring down the cost. 20% we want to bring down the cost and uh, their team are, are doing their job. So. Uh, I told um, 50 Cent to hit me up. I would love to explain it uh, to him uh, so that he can go out and do another tweet of saying, you know what, Eric is just a smart manager, and now we understand why he was elected by the people of this city of New York. To now, as you can see, the pretentiousness of this man, I'm going to start backwards. He said, he, you know, he wants to speak to 50 Cent and tell him all the positives about this, this program. Um, and then he can go out and say how great Eric Adams is running New York City. That's all he cares about. The image, the way it looks, the nerve of him to give out this money to people who don't belong here in the first place. Just to turn around and have somebody who calls you out on your BS only do it to get them to say good things about you. That's stupid. Now on the second thing, he's he, he's literally defending it saying... This is a good thing. It might cost a little much. We want to drop it by 20%, which is only $10 million. But he wants to expand the program. So he's not. he doesn't want to just drop the cost from the $53 million. He wants to expand the program and then overall as a ratio drop it 20%. So basically, as, as I said in the beginning, he wants to expand the program to a multi-billion dollar program that's open-ended. For people who don't belong here what about american citizens you, you don't care that the american citizens are hungry they need stuff i even seen in one report that american citizens on a snap program get seven dollars and fifty cents a person where as if you're an illegal immigrant you get twelve dollars and fifty cents per person and you can buy whatever you want with that not just you know food so these programs are being started on people who have no loyalty or no citizenship or no reason to be here. So we're just spending money to spend money to make other people happy at this point. Because the truth is, what we spend our tax dollars on are some of the dumbest. I mean, the most ridiculous, unnecessary things. Did you know that there is an NYPD dance team I'm not joking. They they run around dressed like uh, a female basketball team and they have dance routines of the most mid-level, middle-aged women you ever seen in your entire life. And if you don't believe me, I'm about to show you a clip of New York PD's dance team. <laughs> Now, as you can see, a bunch of Karens have just learned a bunch of TikTok routines, worst dancers ever, so the money spent on whatever this nonsense is, it was useless in the first place. 
Secondly, why? Why? What people are you trying to impress or market it to? Is this just a, you know, a side gig? Is this a, you know, a little side project for the female officers of the New York Police Department? Don't they have better things to do than dance on live television? Badly? I don't get it. Why is Mayor Adams, has? isn't there a recall, you know, system in place for bad mayors in New York City? Or is it just, you know, unless they get caught something so egregious that they get pulled out of office. I, I could swear there was a process to recall mayors from, from office. They should do that because this is ridiculous. Actually, in fact, we should be asking a question. Uh, who did he, he actually give this no bid contract to? Who holds the rent, the rings of this, you know, contract? Was it friends of his? We really should be asking these questions. No joke. I mean, we absolutely should be asking these questions. Now, it's just ironic and it's funny and it's hypocritical, which it's okay to be a hypocrite sometimes. But in this case, I think it's really bad of, you know, he's talking about how you should have accountability for your kids, which you should. But I think he should have accountability on him too. So we have a clip, our last clip for today. Um, Mayor Adams, I believe he was running for his campaign and, uh, you know, bragging about himself and how great he is and how great of the information that's locked in his head. Um, and how you should search your kid's room um, because they may have crack pipes and, and guns and bullets and, you know, so forth and so on. Again, he's teaching, he's teaching you how to be responsible and hold other people accountable. I think we might need to have somebody search Eric Adams' room to hold him accountable and responsible for his bad behavior. New York State Senator Eric Adams. And for 22 years, I wore a bulletproof vest. Please come and join me inside my house. What I would like to show here is to empower parents on how to search a room inside their home. You write the Constitution. There are no First Amendment rights inside your household. So by periodically sending a message to your home that there are no rooms off limits, you don't believe in locked doors, your house is open to inspection, but you always have to inspect what you expect. You can look in a jewelry box, a jewelry box of this nature, maybe a simple jewelry box, but if you look through it closely, you don't know what your child may be hiding. For instance, a gun could be hidden, a small caliber weapon could be hidden inside a jewelry box when your child brings in his popular knapsack with many different locations. Look through it to see what exactly is your child carrying in addition to a book. Something simple as a crack pipe, a used crack pipe. Could he have found it on the street? That's quite possible. But this is a, a discussion piece where you should start speaking with him to find out what is he doing with it. Behind a picture frame, you can find bullets. What does that mean to find bullets? Does it mean your child is, is carrying a gun? No. Where there's smoke, there's possible fire. Where there's a bullet, there's possibly a gun. The baby doll could be just a baby doll, but also it could be a place where you could secrete or hide drugs. Run your hands over the pillows. This one could be hidden inside a pillow, a gun. Just look and see what's inside your bookcases. Perfect place to hide uh, cocaine. There are no First Amendment rights in your home. So now my final thoughts. People sometimes call me mean and uh, nasty, and, you know, all these other adjectives that, you know, demean my own character, but the truth is, it's not about character. It's, it's honestly, it's the fear that we're going to run out of our resources to help our own people, which then in turn can help no one, ever, because truthfully, people will want to come and, you know, harm us, regardless of their intentions, we have to be leery of everything at all times because we are at the top. We are a superpower. We are the superpower. So it's not just, again, I've said this a thousand times. It's not just, you know, people from our hemisphere, from Central America. It's people from all around the world. I, I think people need to understand this. And then what you're doing is you're, you're basically subjugating our own people to reinforce and basically reward bad behavior. We've seen how many times before that there's a mass amount of these individuals coming across our southern border that are criminals. And they do come from 
South America and Central America. That's just baked in in nature. People do bad things. Now, we're just letting anybody in at any time. You're going to have bad things that's happen. There's so many stories that are out there of horrible people doing horrible things. And our own people are getting jousted over by the invasion. If we don't come to our senses, we're going to get overrun. Our American way is going to be railroaded by these cultural enrichers. Every day, we start getting more and more dangerous with people who have no loyalty to our nation. Hopefully, somebody starts searching Mayor Adams' room, hold him responsible, hold him accountable. Hopefully, the 2024 election changes things and maybe there might be some federal oversight at this point. Um, it doesn't seem like the Republican Party, you know, they seem like they have their hands full in D.C. And some of them are just, you know, they're in with it. They're just as corrupt. So we're on our own as American citizens at this point. Hopefully Donald Trump can come in if he makes it in, if they don't do something to about the election again. And maybe something good will come of people talking about this. Hopefully more and more people see this and hopefully more and more people speak out and, and shout out and protest your tax dollars be giving to criminals. So I'm Simple Son. Hope you like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.